doing a quick review of this um, shoe case holder and I just wanted to show you what it um, looks like when you first get it. So these are all the parts over here and then here are the instructions. Um, so it looks like me mostly putting these poles together. Um, as you can see the instructions are, let's see how many steps. There's maybe like six steps, mostly just building the uh, the poles. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So the instructions aren't completely clear and I got pretty frustrated with them. Uh, first of all, when you start building it, build it from the bottom up, or at least that's what I did. And make sure that when you put these clips in over here, that you have one on the bottom, one on the side, in the front, and then both openings over here. Make sure you don't have an open slot here in the back. Once you get to the very top, it doesn't matter as much where the other open slot is. Mine happens to be on the front here, but the canvas will go over it. Now each shelf also needs um, the canvas there. So make sure that you put that on the poles before you put it together, or you're gonna have to take it all off again. And that's a mistake I made. And it was, you know, my own mistake. I just wish the instructions had explained that better. So let me finish it and I'll come back and show you the rest. So the shelves are all in now. And I kind of wish they were a little bit longer. And as you can see, there are white gaps here. Um, so I think it could have, like right here, they could have made it a little bit longer, a little bit wider. So... Okay, I'm going to do the final part. Okay, so it's all put together now. And I rolled up the flap on top right there. And then it um, stays together with Velcro right there. And you can undo that. And then on both sides are zippers. So you can zip it closed if that's what you prefer. Um, the shelves are, are really strong and durable. I do like that. Um, I have some heavy boots on there. And it holds it just fine. Um, so that part I really like. Um, like I said earlier, I didn't like the instructions. Um, there were some steps missing, and if you do it wrong, you have to start all over again. The other thing that concerns me, on the side are some pockets here, and I tried to put something really light in here, and it immediately ripped. So that is not very strong and durable at all. I wouldn't use these side pockets for anything. I just put some socks in there, and yeah, it didn't, didn't hold up at all. So I probably wouldn't have used it anyways. Um, so I think overall, I'm going to dedu deduct a star for the lack of instructions. They're just extremely poor. And because of the side not being very strong. Um, if you're just going to use it as shelves for your shoes, I think it works great for that. You can close the flap. The zipper is also not very strong. So. Um, Make sure that you build this tower really straight so that the zipper um, doesn't bulge on the side. But, you know, I'm going to leave mine open and I think it's fine. So, you know, depending on what you're going to do with it, if you're planning on using the side pockets and if you want to use the zipper a lot to open and close it, um, I just don't think it's... Let me just show you. If you just do one side, it's fine because it's not going to pull on it. It's when you use the second zipper, and if the tower is complete, completely straight, there's a, le a lot of tension put on the zipper right here. Um, if you build your, your tower really straight, I think it's going to be just fine. But if it's not straight, there's going to be a lot of um, tension put on the zipper here. And I'm just not sure how well it will hold up. Um, it seems to be okay now, but... Um, you know, it's not a highly durable zipper, but I guess it's good enough for this. So yeah, I'm going to rate it four stars.